Good morning, friends, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Tuesday, and I'm going to Fort Langley to get my hair done. Unfortunately, Jordy is stuck in Portugal. Not stuck, she's like there on vacation. Um, but her flight got delayed, so I had an appointment scheduled for tomorrow, and she's not gonna be home. So I'm gonna go see Annika, and she's just gonna give me a tone and a trim, just like a really simple little hair refresh. I'm very excited, my hair's gotten really long and like a little bit dry. It also looks like I have no hair because it's all tucked up here. I don't know why this keeps rocking back and forth. Anyway, and then also today I have an event later at Urban Barn, which is very exciting. And then I booked myself a lymphatic drainage massage for the first time. So that's how all happening this evening. I'm very excited. That's uh what the plan is for today, but first I'm gonna go drive to Langley, pick up a coffee, and then we'll go to the hair appointment. It is so smoky out today. Like, the air is so foggy, and it's still pretty warm. Like, I don't know if you guys know if you're in Vancouver, but the weather has been really weird. We haven't had any rain all October, which is really bizarre. And today it actually feels a little bit more like fall, like it feels crisp. Hopefully I'm, you know, warm enough in my sweater. Picked up my pumpkin cream cold brew, and now I'm gonna walk into Opal. Hello friends, I am back home. I was gonna vlog in the car, but nothing exciting is happening. Anyways, here is the finished hair. She did a blowout and used some rollers, which I'm so grateful for. It's so pretty and bouncy and gonna last me a couple days, which is very nice. The color is perfect. I wanted definitely to go like a little bit darker, kind of cool it up, cool it up, cool it down, make it more cool toned and, um, but still be similar to my natural color. And it looks very rich and just like fresh for fall. We got some nice layers, a little bit of trim on my front pieces, obviously, cause there's a lot of heat damage on those pieces from always curling them. But yeah, overall really happy. I have about an hour and a half before I should leave for that urban barn event. So I think I'm definitely gonna like change cause I don't think wearing jeans and a t-shirt to that is like the vibe. So I'm going to figure out what I'm gonna wear, probably reply to some emails, and eat something. It's the plan. I didn't have time at home to show you my outfit because Cody was in a meeting, so here it is. <laughs> I'm wearing this cute little sweater from Gentle Fawn that I got at the sample sale, warehouse sale. The bag is from Aldo. These jeans are my dynamite ones. And then it's a convenient tray here. I'm wearing some black booties. Um, and then these sunglasses I also got at that sale. They're the key ones. They're so cute, they're very big. And it is still sunny out, so I actually needed them. They're kind of nice to tuck your hair back, but I got some free parking. I'm gonna be like right on time for the event because it starts in 10 minutes and it's a bit of a walk, but this street has the most beautiful trees. Stunning. spots appear literally overnight. Can you tell it's that time of month? <laughs> Good morning friends. It is now Wednesday. I kind of left you at the urban barn event last night. I didn't really obviously talk to the camera because it was like an event and there was music playing and all that stuff but it was really fun. It was really nice to see their new location. I don't think I'd ever been in an urban barn before and their stuff is really freaking cute and really like affordable. I did not realize their price point, but there was these like gorgeous mirrors for like $300. So if you're looking for home decor that's really, really cute, but definitely doesn't break the bank, check out Urban Barn. And the new store is on South Granville if you're in Vancouver. It's really cute and it's now open to the public. I am currently getting ready for a, another event. It's uh, 152 and the event, my time slot is at three. So I'm gonna get ready pretty fast and I'm gonna go pick up a package and then we'll head downtown to the event. It's basically like a media preview for like holiday stuff from a bunch of different brands. They're always really fun and really informative and it's really nice to just go and learn about a bunch of brands kind of in one sitting. So looking forward to that. I also have to update you on the massage that I got last night. So like I said, it was my first time doing a lymphatic massage and it was super super gentle we kind of talked for a long time at the beginning of the appointment i told her about my SIBO diagnosis and um my other like you know health things that have been coming up and things i've been 
looking out for and my ultrasounds and all that kind of stuff so I kind of had to do a download with her on everything that's going on so she can better assess me and it's one of those interesting things I don't think I have ever been massaged really on my stomach normally I do like my back and my neck and my legs and all that kind of stuff um, focusing more on muscles but obviously like the lymphatic system is a little bit different so she did a bit on my face which felt really nice and it wasn't like super drastic how you see some lymphatic drainage massages where like the before and after and the person's like stomach is like flatter than heck after um, my stomach just isn't like that also I'm really Really close to starting my period so that probably has a factor and is a key reason why I bloat. It was interesting and it was like pretty fast because it was only 45 minutes but she did my face and then my stomach and usually my upper stomach is where I have a lot of problem with bloating so yeah I think I'm gonna try and go back. She said that she could work on a couple other things in that system that could help with digestion and a bunch of other little things so overall nothing really major to report no huge like significant results I wouldn't say it was like life-changing or anything or like even changed my appearance that much but I am curious to see how maybe a few treatments would work my birthday is on Monday and my parents are actually coming into town tomorrow they're going to the Elton John concert on Friday so they're gonna stay a couple nights with us we're gonna go for like a birthday dinner and then they leave on Saturday and then Saturday night I actually have a bunch of friends coming over for like my birthday party and very last minute I decided on a theme I got a dress from Revolve which I will show you guys I loved the dress and I was like this is such a cute like Halloweeny party vibe and then from the dress I decided on the theme black magic for the party so then now I've been going balls to the wall with the theme and it doesn't really seem very like me but when you have a birthday a week before Halloween it's kind of nice to like play into that theme sometimes and so yeah we're doing a black magic theme and I've already gotten some like really fun decor I'm definitely gonna do like a reel kind of sharing my decor process and what everything looks like I picked up some Olay's which I showed on my Instagram story they're the best tequila seltzer and I made some stuff back here with my Cricut so I'll show you guys that and I've just been having a lot of fun with the planning process obviously you guys know I love I love a DIY party if you've been here you know and I got some fabric from the fabric store got some things at Trader Joe's so just kind of picking up random things but also trying to utilize our space and what we already have because I don't want to spend too much money also too we're only doing the pre here and then we're going out dancing after so I am very much looking forward to it I think it's gonna be really fun the main sort of thing at the party is going to be a gin and soda bar which I'm really excited for I love a gin and soda it's like my favorite drink and I wanted to make a little bar so people could customize what they want to put in it so I'm gonna kind of play around with that and set it all up and I just I love the process it's always my favorite part about any party is kind of like the planning and like the setting up of the decor I'm definitely not going heavy on like Halloween themed decor like witch decor I have like one thing and like some black fabric like I mentioned but for the most part we're gonna play with like lights this is gonna bother me and I'm gonna wear a vest when I go out but my bra strap is showing obviously I should have chose a black bra but I didn't I do like how this bodysuit has like a little kind of clip though to like hold it in place although it's only doing its job up there and beyond this weekend I do have some Halloween plans but nothing for Halloween and or that I'm like having to come up with like something to dress up as it's kind of all gonna be like just like black dresses and like that kind of wear and possibly like some cool makeup you should let me know in the comments down below what you're dressing up as for Halloween because I'm very curious and I would love to know if you're doing anything and or what you're dressing up as the Sephora sale is coming up at the end of the month I'm really excited I have a lot of things that I've been eyeing and kind of like waiting to purchase for this sale and I definitely want to do like recommendations and or haul you guys let me know I always like filming a haul of what I get but I also like talking to you guys and recommending products in case you are looking for some new things too so let me know also in a comment what you guys want to see in that realm of like what would be the most useful or most entertaining for you guys with the Sephora sale coming up since I'm on a little bit of a time crunch I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then we'll be on our way let's try this angle and see how she does so I went to UPS to pick up a package funny little backstory not so funny but this I ordered two pairs of shoes from call it spring and when I got them there was like makeup stains on the one pair of boots and then the other pair of sneakers uh, were two different sizes there was a size 10 that looked very worn it looked like it had like grass stains on it and then my proper size 8 that looked fresh and new so uh, I took them back to the store and they refunded me obviously for the boots and then they resent the sneakers because I did really want them so this is round two Okay, well, for starters, they do appear to be the correct size. However, this still has 
what I thought was like grass stains, but maybe it's from the green box. Maybe they shouldn't have a green box if it's going to stain their shoes. I will see if I can remove this with like acetone when I get home. Um, they even it has marks inside from like where? Like inside here. I'm so confused. Why don't they clean their shoes before sending them out? This makes no sense. I've ordered or I've bought shoes from Cult Spring before and they've been fine. But it's always the left shoe that is completely fresh and new. There is no damage on this one at all. No marks, nothing. Looks fresh. And then this one looks worn. There's like marks on the inside. That is so annoying. I wonder if I can get that out though because I'm kind of over over it and I just want to be able to wear them so we'll see I mean they were only 50 bucks but still when you're paying for something it shouldn't come worn or damaged or literally anything problematic anyway that's that I was thinking about putting them on to wear to the event but I'm already wearing the Converse and it seems like a lot of work so not gonna do that I'm gonna text Brittany to see where she's at um, and then we'll go inside now home from the event and I do want to show you the products that they gifted us and also the stuff from Urban Barn but I need to make food or at least get it started because I have dance tonight. I picked this up from Trader Joe's a couple visits back. It's the rice cauliflower and butternut squash risotto so I think I'm gonna give this a go. Essentially just one frozen block at the moment. <laughs> I never showed you guys these when we got them but they're from Superstore. They're the brand Life at Home and they are the cutest little bowl plates and I'm just obsessed with them. They do scratch if you use like utensils on them which is annoying. They're really really cute and I feel like this is the kind of thing you'd find at Target so I'm just saying Superstore has some pretty good stuff sometimes. Okay tried the shoes on and they fit really nicely. They're really comfortable so I'm definitely keeping them. Um, and they look really cute with the jeans. This was kind of the vision. To be just like all the other kids. Okay, well that's cooking and Snix is running around. Let's do a little haul. So starting off with Urban Barn, they gave us all a little mug. It's so cute. I absolutely love the shape of this. And inside was a very generous gift card. So I'm very excited to go and spend this. Pro tip for lighting, if you're also a YouTuber, if you have a big TV and you want it to, you know, help you reflect light. Just go to 24 hours of pure white screen. You'll get good lighting. So please hold for that. See how much brighter that is? Okay. So yes, they gave us a very generous gift card. Very excited to spend it. And they are having some good discounts on their website right now. So if you want to check that out. And then the last thing they included was a candle, a beautiful big three wick candle. It smells so good. It's called Evoke and it smells kind of very fall, kind of like cologne. And I love the black tin. I'm very excited to light that up. Okay, and I'll quickly run you through the items I got from Nine Point. I discovered a new brand today. It's called Lover's Tempo, and they are a jewelry brand, and their stuff is absolutely stunning. Oh, there she goes. And they gifted us these little moon studs, which is so perfect for this weekend, considering my birthday theme is black magic, so I'll definitely be wearing those. We also got this little pouch from Reversal. Reversal? And in here is like a cream as well as a retinol treatment which is very exciting and the last product in here is a nude sticks hydra peptide lip butter with shea and avocado i did try this out already and it's really nice it's minty and i had never tried their lip balm before and i'm definitely going to be keeping this in my purse because it's really good so the rest of the stuff in here is basically like brochures and a couple other things a lot of the brands were like clothing items and also things that haven't been released yet there is a new cbd kombucha coming out in January which is very very exciting we got to try a sample that wasn't infused with CBD which was neat and it was phenomenal the taste was amazing so I'm very excited about that product it had 25 milligrams of CBD and I was like damn that sounds nice so yeah lots of fun new products and then also at the event you guys saw I got a little gold necklace and that was stamped we got to custom stamp them which was really cool I got the Scorpio symbol which happens to be an M as well you know tis the season that brand is called Suitable. all of their stuff was really really pretty and I believe they have stores in Toronto as well so if you're looking for some cute jewelry definitely check out those two brands because their stuff was beautiful I wish you guys could smell this right now it smells so fall there must be like some sort of like cinnamon in here because it smells really really good obviously doesn't look the most appetizing but hopefully it tastes 
as good as it smells. Okay, that risotto was so much better than I thought it would be. If they still have it, if you have the chance to pick it up, definitely recommend. It was delicious and very filling for the amount, and I feel like it was great. 10 out of 10. My makeup is like absolute trash right now. I just got home from dance, but I wanted to show you this while it's dark outside because we did a really cool thing to the lights in our kitchen for the party this weekend. And I thought it was so genius because I wanted to change the color of the lights. And Cody suggested buying gels on Amazon. They're like 20 bucks, you get a ton of colors. And then I just like cut them and it's gonna look sick. So for these hanging lights, they actually unscrew. So we unscrewed it and put in a pink gel. And so it gives this really nice like pink hue. And then these ones that are behind the kitchen because these are like pot lights or whatever they're called. I just cut a square of a blue gel and clipped that on with tape, clipped it on, taped it on. And it's so effective, I'm obsessed. And then the bathroom is gonna have a purple glow to it. So I have these strip lights on here that give it a really cool effect. This is changeable too, um, but I just think that the purple is really nice. Red is really sick too. but I like the purple and I think it complements the other colors. And then we have the same kind of controlled light strip taped to the back of the TV and Cody has the app and he's actually not home right now and I asked him to turn them on and he's able to do that even when he's not here, which is really cool. And I think I'm gonna set this to like purple or even orange. I did also hang like a little decoration thing, but yeah, this is kind of the vibe for the party, the black magic party. Oh yes, there's the purple. I asked him to change it to purple. That looks so good. And then with the pink and the blue, it's kind of showing up red on camera, but yeah, I think this is so great. And just a fun little additive. If you're having a Halloween party this year or any type of party, I feel like these are so inexpensive and like really effective and just really fun. And then I do also have like a galaxy light that I'll probably put in the bedroom and that'll be kind of decorish, honestly. Like I feel like it really sets the vibe. Hey friends, so it is a couple days later. It is now basically the party. I have five of my friends staring at me as I film this, um, but I wanted to come on here and end the vlog and I'm going to do like a little kind of montage of party clips and things like that. These earrings are the ones from Lover's Tempo. They're so pretty and they match the Revolve dress very nicely. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Cue the montage.